fundraiser. Helping you reach your target. So here we are in Kenya, it's day three, it's day two on the site and you can see things are going pretty well here. We're laying some founds down here at the minute, you can probably see it in the background, we're going to do some crazy paving. And Mary Duffy is on very important duty today with Sister Catherine. Mary, how are you? Um, how are you getting on? I love her today, Lee. Very important, isn't it Sister Catherine? Yeah, this is Sister Catherine yeah. and she's been helping me all day. We're delivering water around to all the workers. Yeah. Very important to get the water in on such a hot day. Yeah. That's what we're at today, Lee. Is Mary a good worker, Sister Catherine? Yeah, she's a very good friend of mine, and we are working very hard to supply some juice and water to the people who are working. And what do you think of the Irish coming over, Sister Catherine, to do projects like these? Yeah, I think, and I feel very happy to have an Irish people here, and uh, they are working very hard, and they are very friendly, and as a congregation, we are very happy to have a project like this in Kenya, and especially in Kikambala. Thank you, Sister Catherine. Thank you, Sister Catherine. Mary, I'm not going to hold you up. Do you know there's, there's a film called The Water Boy? You're the water girl today. I'm the water girl today. <laughs> Bye, See you later. made a trip today tell us where we make we're here in the local hardware store we're after buying two kilos of nails here they are here and the Irish are waiting for them above on the side so we have to get moving Lee, let's go quickly well, we've just been to the hardware store are you happy with your dealings yeah, we have we've just been to the hardware store now we've done all our got our few nails so that'll keep the slabs moving on site we are now going to reverse out onto the crazy road Jackson, the dealer, has given us our stuff. He whispered in my ear, she needs payment by this evening. <laughs> Do you have the money? We ha I have, yeah. We have to change it. We have, oh, no. These are all these are his employees, all these lads. How much would they get per day? 400 shillings per day. How much is that? Four euros per day. And it's hard work. Look at all that timber that they have to deal with. And then, our car is so dirty, we can't see out the gate of that window of it. Are you a good driver, Olive? <laughs> I don't know. Look, you'll hear the cars blowing at me now in a minute. And they've no mercy. They have no mercy here in these roads. They won't allow you anyway. Now we're just going to slip up. This one now. He walks, he walks up behind me. Now, an order has come in for wood there now, and they're his staff. And they'd count each piece of wood and sell it and What do you want to say to all the people at Donegal that's probably watching this? Johnny Gall, I love you. Little did I ever ever think I would be travelling in a car with Lee Gooch and I'd have Sean Doherty and Mary Duffy here with me in Africa. And it's all because of the most special person, Derek Davis. It would never have happened. And I know that Derek Davis is watching us from What above. about this here? Yes, he's carrying the wood home on the motorbike and that's their way of transport. They have no cars. So you can see three of them on a motorbike there. And, and it's a big way of transport, the motorbikes, to get the children to school. So you could have a papa, a, a father and a mother on the motorbike with four children. So that'd be six people on the motorbike. And they just hire it as 50 bob to go from A to B, short distances. Well, there you have it, Sean. We just visit, visited the village. Mary, yeah. what do you think? Beautiful, absolutely. Very happy people here. Mambo's beautiful. Never had uh, an experience like it. I don't know about you, Lee, or yeah. Mary. All the, well, I suppose being a daddy, you, like you see all the boys and girls, and you just like, your heart goes out to them, you know, but I'm sure they're ever so happy. Yeah, and that's the thing that hits you. 
when you get here straight away is the joy and the happiness despite the fact that I've never seen anything like it in terms of poverty I mean these people have very little nothing very much materially but they seem to have joy and they seem to have a lot of happiness in their lives and the welcome that they gave us and uh, it's one of those moments that I think I'll no, not forget. Yeah. What about you, Mary? Very special moment, yeah. Unbelievable experience. Now the children are absolutely beautiful. So friendly and so happy to see us. Mm. Well, I suppose that's a wrap from the Highland team today. Until the next day. Bye. Bye. So here we are, day four. It's 20 minutes past eight. And I think everybody's getting a little bit tired at the minute. I think the majority of us had about four hours sleep last night. And we're up very, very early in the morning. So much to do. And there's a few changes, like blocks have been knocked out again because we want ramps. And it's all go here at the minute, <laughs> believe it or not. We'll give you an update in the afternoon. You right, Duffy? Yes, Lee. All right, this is How us recording you? now, mate. So we've got to be on our best behaviour. Is that all right? Okay. No all right, are you ready? Yeah. Is your makeup on? Yeah. Makeup's yeah. on, blusher, yeah, blusher. Yeah, yeah. Wet the lips, Mary. That was uh, sunscreen, by the way. Yeah, all right, okay. <laughs> Mary, your glasses. This is what you get. All right, this is an update from myself and Mary. Mary, it's day five and it's day four on the site. How's your day going? Uh, good, Lee. Very busy morning. Uh, myself and a few other girls this morning were clearing the backs of the houses, um, getting it ready for topsoil, kind of like this here that you see just behind us. Come you and, with me now. Um, Everybody can see. It's very warm today here. It's about 37 or 38 degrees. So um, too warm now actually to work outside. So we're heading inside to clean out some of the... Uh, little areas in the dormitories and the laundry in different places. There's been great shape in like four days Fantastic. on the site, hasn't it? Absolutely, yeah, great. I mean, you did all the work ourselves. We did. Yeah. <laughs> We're hard workers from Donegal. Well, have a nice weekend Bye, and we'll everybody. chat to you soon. Bye. Good morning from Kenya, it's day five and things are pretty going pretty good this morning. It's about 10 minutes to 10 o'clock, we've been here a few hours and on average we get about four hours sleep every night which is grand uh, believe it or not you get well used to it so the shrubs are coming along the top soil was put in yesterday and there's a lot of finishing off in the buildings and I'm walking through this and I'm very shaky and I do apologize so we're doing the fi final t touches John and Patrick's down here this is what I've been doing all week all this slabbing um, I'm actually a lot quicker than John and Patrick <laughs> I'm only joking top boys and so you can see there's lots lots going on here so it's like any job, it's the last probably five or ten percent that makes the big difference. And here's my pal John. Pat, how are you doing? I'm waiting on you under the the interview. Explain now to everybody at home what am I doing here today? What are we doing? Oh, well what we're doing is in we're 15 seconds. Okay, we're putting surface on the external porches, and we're doing a fantastic job, and it's going to keep the heat off these wonderful, wonderful people here in um, Kenya. Okay, Pat. See you later. Bye bye. So there you have it. That's the morning update. We'll give you another one in the afternoon and this evening. All right, from the team here at Highland Radio, Mombasa, day five. Bye bye. So we have Charlie from Kerry here at the Kingdom. Charlie, what have you uh, invented here today? Uh, Lee, we've um, I, I patented this uh, new clothesline for Sister Catherine, and uh, it's a, a six uh, six line uh, drying line, and it's very simple the way it works. Uh, down here, Lee, you have uh, your control for the line. You slip it up like that, the small children can hang their clothes on it and then when they want to stretch them out again Lee, you come down like this and in under the, the nails like that and the perfect perfect invention. Uh, so if what we're are you calling this line then? What are you calling the line? It's called uh, the Sunshine Line. And when are you going to be on Dragon's Den? Uh, well if we're going to be on Dragon's Den Lee, I think I'll have to get something better than six inch nails but it's, uh, it's going to do for the job out here and it's been a, a pleasure making it for Sister Catherine. So it's day five in Kenya and we're joined by Frank the Foreman. How's things going, Frank? Yeah, going very well, Lee. Um, progression is, is very good. Um, we're on day five. I, honest to God, I didn't think we'd get this far so so quickly. But everything's getting done so fast. that The, the Kenyan workers themselves are just amazing. The, the work they do, the, 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 the talent they have, 
and, and we're using it to the, to the full extent. So they're really joining in with us. Um, is there anything? Really, is there any any pressure on at the minute? Just savage pressure. I'll be honest with you, there is ex extreme pressure. But to be honest, everyone is on top of it. We're really, really. I know we're going to get the job finished, but it does get extremely hectic. Um, there's a lot of stuff, a lot of finishing up stuff. That that when you look at it and, and you feel, oh, it's not going to be done. It's not going to be done. But it will be done because the guys come to you all day long and they say, where are we, Frank? What do you need me for? And everybody just jumps in and gets it done. Like, if you look at this, the transformation of this site from we got here five days ago, Lee, I mean, just take a look around you, the footpath. And it's not just a basic footpath. It's, it's, we put all the swirls and curls on the path. It's all paved, the crazy paving. It's, it's, it's double bonded to the floor, the cement finish on top. It's just amazing. And then all our guys are inside, painting all the houses, doing all the roofing, doing all the porching. It's an amazing experience, Lee, and it's, it's really, really happening. It's really going to work. I honestly, honestly, am 100% fully confident that by Monday evening we will. Well, it's 20 to 8 on the last day of the project, and we're on the second bus. The first bus is left, and we're just waiting for one or two more people before we head back to the hotel. The last day of the project, finishing touches being done at the moment, and it's back now for bite to eat and a lot of bed. Right, Sean. Home time. Home time. The bus is waiting. We're saying goodbye. I've got a little friend who's saying goodbye as well to her mum. And it's been a very, very special time. We're sad, but we're also very happy that this uh, project is going to be open now and available to take in the young girls who are so much in need of their help. So from all of us, I'm Mombasa. Bye. 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 Fundraiser. Helping you reach your target.